In this video, I will show you how you can use ChatGPT for learning R and R Studio, and we'll look at some examples of coding. So let's start with something quite simple. Let's say I want to plot a histogram of a variable happiness, which is stored in a data frame called Survey. So let me type here the request for ChatGTP. Please write a code for R to plot a histogram of variable happiness stored in a data frame survey. Like let's use this generic name. So after just a few seconds, you see that ChatGPT easily resolved that task. So it's provided a code and actually what you can do here, you can copy this code, right? And run it in your R Studio, whether online or installed on your computer. And what's really beautiful here is that it's not like a simple, basic, boring histogram, but it also has some coloring, right? Like blue color for fill and black color for the borders. And also it added titles, right? So again, it's like, it's quite well-developed histogram. And what's more, if you just learn R Studio and R, you may want to check the explanations, right? What exactly is being done here by ChatGPT. So let's continue with our example and let's do something more interesting. So let's say we want to run a regression of happiness on a few variables using the same data set. So let's ask ChatGPT to write a code for a linear regression. Please write and our code to run linear regression of variable happiness on age, gender, and say income, which are stored in a data frame survey. So after just a few seconds, ChatGPT started to run a code. And again, it's quite easy to check for those who work regularly in our studios that this code will run, right? So we have here LM, which stands for linear model. Uh, ChatGPT refers to the data set, to the data frame, which we provided, which is called survey. And it will include an intercept, age, gender, and income, these three variables. And what's more, it'll also provide a summary of the model with like key statistics, like key statistics, coefficients and so on. And again, observe that ChatGPT created for us a new entry, right? And in principle, it will remember now that this particular entry will be about R coding and you can keep asking uh, questions. So let's ask something more complicated, right? Let's ask ChatGPT to propose three methods of machine learning. But before that, notice that ChatGPT is actually suggesting us to use a factor variable to make sure that we don't run into an error. Like this is again for cases when gender is coded as like male and female, right? We have to recode it into understandable language for our studio. So let's ask now to write a code for three methods of machine learning using the same model specification. So I will not write happiness anymore uh, or the variables I want to include. But of course, ChatGPT should remember the previous conversation, right? So it should not be necessary here. So let's see if it can manage this task. Of course, when you think about machine learning, what comes to your mind is probably random forest, uh, maybe some extreme boosting algorithm and similar methods. And what is interesting here, observe that actually ChatGPT is quite well trained in machine learning, right? Because the first thing it does, it splits our sample into a train and test data set, which is great, right? So if you're just new to machine learning, if you just learn it and work with that code, I think it will be informative, right? Because you see here that 70% of the data will be a train set and the remaining, of course, will be test set to make sure that we do not overfit our model. And so here there's like a generic formula for happiness using the same uh, data frames that we used before. And also, uh, so here, what ChatGPT chose, it's uh, linear regression using GLMnet package, uh, random forest, right, using the random forest package, and also correct package for support factor regression. And also, what you can see here, it will also provide root mean squared error, right? So we can test 
how well are this model running and we can compare this three model using out of sample prediction right because here is the reference actually to testing outside of the sample so in principle it's not bad right you can start learning machine learning here if you are new to R and of course you can observe here that there is a very detailed explanation right what to expect and in my view, uh, ChatGPT managed quite well here, right? In just like under 10 minutes, we have a code, a running code, which we can copy and paste in our entire model. You know, like if you do like a course exercise or homework, or maybe just learn our studio, want to do something real quick, right? Then you can just do it with ChatGPT really quick, right? So it just specifies the name of the data frame, specifies the variables, uh, specify which kind of code you want to generate, and then uh, you can copy this code and insert uh, into your uh, RStudio. Thank you all and see you in the future videos.